Hi guys, it's, it's been a while since I've done a video, only this one is a special video and it's going to involve fast food hash browns. For those who know what hash browns are, basically it's just potatoes that are fried in any ways. And next to me, this is my cousin Evan and he's an expert in hash browns because oh. <laughs> he loves hash browns. Really? All right. All right. So Evan, what is your opinion with hash browns? Be honest in your own opinion. I mean, they've got to be crunchy, um, not too oily, you know, um, and uh, the salt level has to be right, and um, they have to be fresh. I mean, everybody's gone to that fast food restaurant where, you know, you're the last person there, and you're eating the hash brown that's just been sitting underneath the heat lamp for 30 minutes, and those are going to lose no matter what. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, we get fresh hash browns for all these places, because I'd hate to have to disqualify pretty much. You know, or like just automatically throw them to the bottom bucket. Yeah. If we get old hash browns, so yeah, yeah. We'll kind of see. Yeah, take his word of advice. He's a man of hash browns. <laughs> so if we were to visit every fast food joint with the best hash browns, he will rate them, and he knows his hash browns. So we're starting with Chick Fil A's hash browns, and they're minis. Mm -hmm. Okay, he has his own. Now. Look, note to self, I'm a little, I'm not a hash brown guy. Never was at, when I, even when I was younger. But I'm doing this to see which is the best hash browns. So, here we got. All right. <laughs> Mine is double in one. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> it's moving on its own. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. All right. All right. All right. Definitely good. Golden fried, delicious. That's the important part. Mm -hmm. Oily, it's a little oily, but it's an oil I can handle. Mm -hmm. So, definitely a good crisp. Mm -hmm. So, th they definitely cooked it right. Mm -hmm. So, do I think it needs something like sauces or flavors. Well, I want to be unbiased with flavors. So I want to keep it totally neutral, but I'm open. So what would these be good with, with a sauce, if you have to pick a sauce? Honestly, I would just go straight ketchup. You know, I, I, you can't go wrong. Um, I don't think I'd put anything else on it. Um, you know, these are a pretty good example of Chick-fil-A. Uh, hash browns, I've had them when they're too flimsy. These are cooked pretty right. They're a little crispy for me. Um, but overall, I mean, I'd say that I wouldn't be upset getting these, you know, and I'd probably just rank these like right in the middle. By the way, I'm actually going to grade pretty harshly because in my opinion, a 10 is way better than a nine and a nine is way better than an eight, you know? So like a five is like a, just a solid, you know, hash brown, you know, you wouldn't be upset, but you're not super happy to order it. You know, you're not going to go out of your way to drive across town to go get a five, you know, that's a hash brown, you know? Yeah. So, all right. So let's rate these. Like, what is the best part? Like, on a scale of one to ten in mm -hmm. my book, because I do the t that scale. Okay. So, what would be the best part of the hash brown that was good, and what is it that? What are the flaws that you think is not good about it? Okay. Um, like I said, it's a little too crunchy for me. But one of the good things is I can still taste the. Um, the inside, you know, like the the actual like inside of the hash brown, um, and it it tastes good, you know. So, like I said, there's not really any huge complaints. Um, like I said, I'm not like thrilled. I'm not jumping around. I'm not gonna call my mom, you know, and tell her I had the most amazing hash brown. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. All right. So, on a scale of one to ten, and yes. Anything in the five category is like an average, mm -hmm. but a little above average, six or seven is all right. Eight and nine are probably the good ones. 10 is basically means they're perfect, but anything below five, which is basically four through one mm -hmm. or zero, mm -hmm. those are like, they have, there's something wrong with them or that they're okay to a degree. But if any number goes below a number, like say, like minus one or well, less. I, I hope we don't get those. Yeah, you don't want those. <laughs> so to me, 
I would give these, since I'm not a hash brown guy, but I will say I will give them like somewhere around the six out of 10. They I, were good. I was gonna say six and a half. All yeah. right. Um, you know, I already have some ideas of where I'm gonna rank these. I've had hash browns enough times. I've gone to fast food breakfasts enough times to know pretty much where they should land up uh, or right. end up. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. Um, and yeah, I'd go a solid six and a half. Well, a six for me, but in a six and a half. So that's basically, if we average out six, 6.25. Yeah, that's definitely a good one. Mm -hmm. So Chick-fil-A, you have good hash browns, but are they gonna stay the number one in future? in the future? We'll find out. We'll see. Because there's other places that are known for their hash browns. So we'll see where this goes. So, and anybody who enjoys hash browns and they wanna give out an opinion, what is the best hash browns that you know of give us give us an update right. <laughs> and i don't mind and i don't mind you doing you know let's say comments and tell us where where we should go next and stuff yeah exactly especially some places that maybe we would we not, might not think of um so yeah let yeah. us hear yeah let us give us a heads up so i hope you enjoy that little video so take care guys